we are up here this morning at one of our favorite lakes and we're hoping to put some fish on ice. We've been having a really rough season with the cicadas hatching earlier this spring and slowing the bite down. But we have done well at this lake in the summer, during the heat of summer. And uh, we're hoping to repeat that today. I know you hear a lot about pattern fishing, fishing patterns when you're out fishing. And people are usually talking about fishing points or fishing submerged structure. I'm talking about fishing seasonal patterns and this lake has been good to us during the heat of the summer fishing deep for perch. Let's get out here to our spot to see if we can't get a few on the end of our lines. Oh, oh. <laughs> got me. I got him. Ow, ow, ow. Oops. He's swimming up. Oh, he's right there. <laughs> he was just swimming with it. Yeah. Yeah. Bluegill. Uh huh. Think he's big enough for the for the meat. Yeah, I think I just collection. caught that one. I'm gonna put him back. We got a few white perch so far, and. Uh, we're marking some fish. We're fishing about 20 to 25 feet of water. And right now, the fish are marking on the depth finder about 15, 16 feet. So they're suspended off the bottom. What Michael's doing is he's jigging his night crawler up and down. He seems to be picking up white perch using that method right now. We're hoping as the morning wears on, the fish will get down a little tighter on the bottom see how that works out he got there's no way that crawler's still there oh it is oh my god the worst I got one more hit here I'm throwing a marker I'm telling you yeah. or you or whoever right. no white perch I caught myself he went in my other line nope and that's right at your feet White perch. Oh yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. Oh no. Mud cat. <laughs> oh no. Yellow. Nailed it. Big yellow. Big yellow. Big yellow perch right there. Yeah, we're starting to find some fish. They're finally getting out of the water column and down on the bottom. So we tossed a couple marks out and came over here where Dana just caught that one off in the distance and I pick one right up. Oh, oh, oh. oh here it comes. Here it comes. Yeah, it's a good school of white perch there. They're getting active. Oh, it's stabbing me. I got my bail flipped on my other line. I'm willing to bet there's probably gonna be a white perch on the end of it by the time I get to it. Because this one, not only did he have my minnow, but there's a worm down in his throat. He swung with it. Well, he's, I think I bloodied him, so this little guy's going for the fryer too. All right, well, this stringer's starting to fill up pretty quickly. We got a few that are starting to turn a little pale on us. We're going to get those ones on ice and try and keep the live ones alive for as long as we can. Yeah, you're right, Michael. We got to get a few of those uh, fish we caught first thing, those little ones on ice. We don't want all our hard work to spoil. But uh, we drifted around for a while this morning, and it seemed like the fish were suspended in the water column about 10 feet off the bottom. When we came down here, we came through an area where we got a couple hits real quick, and Michael tossed out the marker. Then Dana went in there and threw out a secondary marker. And as it's gotten later in the day, we're looking at the depth finder. The fish seem to be settling down through the water column to where they're two or three feet off the bottom, and it's a mix of yellow and white perch, what we were looking for, and some bluegill. So we are just sitting right at that marker where we initially got the first hits and things now it's about nine in the morning things are picking up every time i pick it up it's just doo -doo 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 -doo. You probably got it you got him you really gotta convince him to bite like it definitely is taking a little bit of work to convince these white perch to hit yeah he's there got him 
another little whitey. That one might go back in because he's not he's not hurt. <laughs> it got some weight on it. Oh whoa! That's a heavy fish right there. He almost took some drag I think that time. Yeah, he took a little drag that time. Might be a mud cat. See what it is? What is it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was a little too heavy to be a perch. Oh well. I don't think that's a little white perch. That's a monster yellow. Monster yellow. There we go sure that gets in the boat. Got another one. Not bad for a day after a cold front. Who do I got here? Pickerel. <laughs> pickerel. I got the net. I got the net. Got me a pickerel. Oh, oh yeah. Have fun to fight. Cutie little creatures. Oh, look at him guys. He's like a torpedo out there. A torpedo right down in my net. There we go. Oh, no. There he is. Pickerel in the net, so we're out here. It's the day after cold front, and uh, things aren't as fantastic as we'd hoped. But these are the seasonal patterns I was talking about earlier that we fish. They're not just pattern fishing like points and and uh, drop offs and ledges, but seasonal patterns. For years now, we've been coming up here to this lake, late July, early August, fishing deep water, 20 to 30 feet, and loading up on perch for our freezer. And it's been working out for us quite a bit. And it worked out for us today, even though it's the day after a cold front. And I got this toothy critter here as well. I'm gonna have to deal with him, but Pay attention to the seasonal patterns too. You know you catch spawning fish in the spring, but you can establish summertime patterns as well. Deep water fishing for perch. And we put a pretty nice stringer together today. So we're gonna stick it out, see if we can add a few more to what we already have. Drag taker. Drag taking fish. Who I got here? Oh Jesus, it looks like a pike. Is it a pike? It's a pike. That's no, just, it's a, a just a huge, huge pickerel. chain pickerel. Just a huge pickerel. Mm. Oh, he's going down. He's done. What a fight. What a fight. What a fight. Yes, sir. Oh, he's heavy. Yes, sir. That's a monster pick. I want to get a picture of him. All right. That's a little better chain pickerel right there. It's going. Oh, very large mouth. Very nice bass. There he goes. Oh, he's getting in your line. He's gonna mess you up. He's gonna mess you up. He's trying to keep him from messing you up. Try and catch him and keep him from messing you up. Oh. Pretty nice little large mouth. Don't let mom see it. You gotta let it go. I see that. What? You let my dinner go! I saw that! He's he's following along behind it. I don't know what's going on. He's not tagging it though. You know what I mean? He's not on. He's just following the line. I had been feeding a lot of line out to get down way down on the bottom because the wind picked up so much and my line bounced, my slot bounced, and I just got too much slack and I don't think I'm gonna catch this fish. He's not there, I don't think, anymore. Unless he's following it. I can't even... Oh, wait. He's... he's. I, I think I might have hooked him. I yeah. might have hooked him. I hooked him! Hot damn! Hot damn! Got lucky there. Whitey. Just a little white perch, yeah, but... He's just down there swimming with it. Yeah, he he had it. Must have had it the whole time. He's swimming towards the boat or something. All right. Whoa, he's pulling drag. Probably a pickle. Could be a pickle. Oh, he's going under the boat. 
she's way over there. Trying to zoom in on her, but it's getting shaky. Oh, it's a Not the best, thank goodness. Good, you got off. It's a big thing. <laughs> Come on up. That's a nice yellow perch. That's a very large yellow bird. There we go. We'll keep him in the boat. That's a very nice yellow perch. Michael's being mean. He, I lost a fish overboard because I was trying to get it filmed. And he said he's not getting the camera, he's getting the net. So, what I did was, I told him I wasn't going to reel this fish in until he got the camera. So, it's a nice white perch. But he stayed down there for a long time before Michael started filming. <laughs> Woo! Well, that was something I was reeling in, and that fish uh, followed up off the bottom. <laughs> he just grabbed it. I got him. See who we got here. Oh, Ooh, look at the size of that crappie. Nice. Look at the size of that crappie. Get him in the net. He'll come off of there. Wow, I wasn't expecting that. That's a, that's a slab right there. That's a slab. Look at that bad boy. wasn't expecting that. I came a little bit off our marker because we keep drifting. The wind's getting up. And we keep drifting by it real quick, and boom, crappy. I didn't need to because you fucking swallowed the goddamn hook. He's dead. Yeah, I just popped the cooler. Oh, nice rebound! It's coming straight up. Oh no. What does that mean? A little nicer class white perch. Alright, so it's about lunchtime. We're heading back in. We caught a, a right nice cooler of fish. Got some fillets to take home, which is good because we have not been doing well this season at all with the cicadas and and uh, just hasn't been real good fishing for us this year. But we got out here and we thought back on where we had caught fish before. Hot summer day, right after cold front, and we came up with a seasonal pattern where we typically will catch perch deep in 20 to 30 feet of water, bottom fishing for them. And we got out here and that pattern held true for us and let us put some fillets in the freezer. So we're going to call it a morning and head on in. Now make sure you hit the little subscribe button and the bell. Give us some likes and comments. Let us know what you think. We're going to be out a little later this summer doing some snakehead fishing. And of course me and Michael, we got to get out scouting for deer. Yeah, we really do need to get out there and find a few deer. I'm starting to run a little low. I got lucky and took a pretty decent sized spike buck last year. I've only got a few rows left, so I really need to fill the freezer. Okay, so we'll get that done. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We hope to see you again real soon. We're Camo Chair Productions sharing the outdoors on YouTube. Get out there and enjoy a few outdoor adventures of your own.